hey guys join me in the kitchen let's make peanut soup or ground nut soup okay so um where is my ground nut? <laughs> i thought i had brought it out i'll be using this one it's already fried like you can basically eat this as it is right now so i'm going to be using it you can use peanut butter or you can roast fresh peanuts okay but this is the one i'm going to be using it's going to make the work a lot easier for me i've also gone ahead to prepare most of my ingredients that i'll be using for this recipe so come on guys let's go so first of all i'm going to boil the meat i'll be boiling the meat one side here and then i'll be roasting the the peanuts even though it's already fried right i'm still going to roast it to kind of um caramelize it if that makes sense to give it that nutty flavor and taste i have some beef here the beef has um brisket bones and i have some chicken okay we are going to be using a salted meat oh sorry guys okay i have my mackerel fish here and i have my dry catfish here i'm going to be adding this to later on but for now i'm going to season this up and cover to cook seasoning cubes I have two scotch bonnet peppers here and one small onion. I'm going to add some crayfish. I don't cook with measurements, okay? I stop when the spirit says stop. <laughs> add some water, not too much though. And blend. Then add to the pot of meat. I'm going to add salt. Guys, try seasoning your meat this way. You're going to love it, okay? It tastes better. And if you have tried it before, let me know in the comment section. Do you like the taste or not? mix 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 to combine well more water cover and let it cook till it's halfway done then we'll come back and add our fish let's fry our peanuts I'll be doing one cup. This is one cup, okay? look guys can you see the black colors yes that's what we are trying to achieve once it starts browning up like this then you know it's ready so i'm going to turn off the heat and we are going to blend
I'm going to add water. Yes. Okay, I'm going to add some palm oil to this. Now, because the peanut has its own natural oil, we are not going to be adding too much oil, so to say. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil just to give it that local taste and flavor, you know. Ooh, no, 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 that's a lot. No way. <laughs> okay, that's all we need, okay? okay guys all right i'm going to add the macro fish add the dry fish Now we are going to cover and let it cook properly. Then we will come and add our peanuts. While that is cooking, we are going to wash the dishes in the sink as always. We use these dishes for breakfast this morning. That's why it looks as if we have a lot of it here. how it smells but now the memory is coming back <laughs> okay. careful so as not to break the fish or if you are not too sure of your hands <laughs> you can take them out okay and add them back later but I don't mind even if they scatter I don't mind you see the tin thickens up almost immediately so you don't need a lot of peanuts or peanut butter just one cup is enough or if you are making it for a large number of people then you can go for more peanuts or if you are making it for just for yourself and your family one cup is enough or you can go lower okay I'm going to rinse the blender more I'm going to add the water because you can see the thing is thickening up a little bit more and I don't want it too thick I want it light and silky light and silky that's how I love it can you guess before I add the vegetable can you guess the vegetable I'm going to be adding to this soup don't wait till I add it before you answer the question answer now in the comment section before I add it okay <laughs> let me know the one i'm adding not the one that fits the soup cover and let's cook for 10 more minutes before we add our vegetable
time for the vegetable. Okay, guys, so here is the vegetable that I'll be adding to it. Can you still guess? This is scent leaves. <laughs> yes, scent leaves or bitter leaf. Oh, just use either of these two and thank yourself later. <laughs> Mm, smelling so good already i'm not going to be adding a lot though because the soup is not much it's not that much okay because you don't want the smell of the scent leaves to overpower the soup that's enough i'm not adding more Oh la la. Oh my my guys, this is incredibly delicious. I'm not even joking. Like if you haven't tried this um peanut soup before, go and try it out using this method. Very quick, easy and simple. Yet it tastes so delicious. Oh. I can't stop licking. Hmm. Okay, let's simmer for 2 minutes at most and it's done. Now, can you guess, before I turn this camera, can you guess what we are going to be enjoying this soup with? Guess, guess, guess fast in the comment section. Fast, 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 fast. Are you done? Ta-da! <laughs> we'll be having it with Poundo. Mm. Poundo, Poundo. Goes so well. Mm. You can use semo, you can use apple, the real fufu. Mm, as for eba, yeah, you can use eba. Because this is more like a greasy soup. They are very similar. Like if I didn't even tell you, you will not know. Okay, so eba goes so well as well. But I prefer pando. Mm. Guys, if you know that. You don't cook your pando very well please do so that you don't sleep in the toilet please i boil the water first and then add the pando flour mix it well like turn it till it's looking like this i add more hot water cover it and let it cook for maybe four to five minutes again and then i'll come back and give it the final step which is what I'm doing right now so it's completely done that way it will be very elastic and stretchy and fluffy and delicious and then most importantly you will not sleep in the toilet <laughs> look at that look okay turn off the heat and we are done also get you a semo pot you get why and guys our soup is ready mm. smells so good Ooh. You see this thing that is looking like this it's still going to thicken up when it cools down so i like it like this when it's hot okay yes okay it's looking good looking so delicious and it tastes so good and here is our semo again looking so inviting okay guys so that brings us to the end of this cooking video and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to try this recipe out you're going to love it okay it's it tastes so good like if you want to know how it tastes go and make it for yourself and taste it for yourself as well because i won't be tasting it on camera for you guys i want to quickly go out now and plus i'm not even that hungry so yes there will be no taste test today 
maybe next time <laughs> but go and try it you will love it all right so thank you guys once again for watching i'll see you all in my next video Mbachino. ciao